everybody. This is Dan Sheridan. It's Thursday, May 11th. And I want to share with you one of my favorite trades, a 15-day calendar. Uh, I like to put these on, on Thursday. Uh, today's Thursday, May 11th. So I go two weeks out from tomorrow. So I'm going to sell the May 26 expiration. That's two weeks from tomorrow, 15 days out. So I put it on every Thursday. Uh, generally. And uh, my long, you see in this case, is five days past my short. And uh, I'm doing it at the strike, you know, close to at the money, right at the money, 4130. There is no 4128 strike or 4127. And and this is a calendar. It's a mixed month spread. Uh, my long expiration is further out than my shorts. And uh, with a calendar, uh, if I'm more neutral, my strikes are at 4130. If I was more bullish, my strikes could be 4150. If I was more bearish, my strikes could be 4110. How does a calendar make money? Well, your May 26 uh, calls expire in 15 days. Uh, your May 31s expire in 20 days. So the May 26 is decay a lot quicker. Uh, and they're both at the money options. And, and you know, here's the rate of decay today, and that number will increase. You see, this is the T plus zero line. It will increase towards the expiration graph, which is in 15 days as you go through time. Like if you see me put this ahead, you know, today is the 11th. If I put it ahead to Monday, you can see already the purple line is saying, depending on where it is, up $70, up $90. Well, on a five hundred and fifty dollar uh, adjustment, that's between that's over fifteen percent. So normally in these fifteen day trades, if I put them on on a Thursday, the latest I'm in is Monday uh, to usually try to get ten percent. And so your shorts will ex expire before your maze. Uh, and I like these, and 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 you get a lot of that disc. You know, some of the uh, market makers are. Uh, taking a little more decay out over the weekend. So I've always liked these and it gives you quite a bit of room. I mean, the expected move, if we're gonna be in this trade, let's say I'm gonna be in this trade till, you know, I'm not gonna be in the trade till expiration. The latest I'm gonna be in is till Monday. Well, Monday's four days. Four days, the expected move is 44 points. Well, what does that mean in English, Spanish, or or Portuguese, right? It means that you can see if I'm putting this on at the 4130 strike, and we just said the expected move is uh, for four days, 45 points, what's the probability of going outside our break-even points in four days? Well, our break-even points are basically 60 points down and 80 points up from the current price to the expiration break even point. And so you could see the probabilities in the next four days are not that we're going outside here. So that's how you get the probabilities in your favor with calendars. You just stay in less. So that's the goal, but that's that's a trade I like um, for Thursdays, a 15 day calendar, five days between the long and the short. Uh, check out our site, Share to Mentoring, for a lot of goodies. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.